The R-36 eruptor is the standout favorite from the Democratic Detonation War Bond. Located on the second page, this will cost you 120 medals to unlock, in addition to the 1,000 super credits just for the War Bond itself. But is this weapon really worth all the hype? And how can you use it? effectively. Dr. Puplov here, and let's discuss. Now, for this video, I want to focus in on how this gun performs against the Terminids. But rest assured, because I will also be making a video on how this thing does versus the automatons. And to start, let's take a look at the stats of this gun. So first off, the Eruptor is classified as an explosive type weapon, and as we will soon find out, it actually lives up to that name, at least more so than the Jar Dominator. Its stats include a very high damage of 380, a lower capacity of 5 with 12 total mags. It has a recoil of 75, which is pretty high, but it doesn't matter too much as it has a very low rate of fire at only 25. It also does feel a bit sluggish on the rotation speed. Because of this, you will have to wait a little bit longer to allow your reticle to get in place for an accurate shot. This bad boy does have medium armor penetration, which is very nice, and it also has the explosive perk. And oh boy, is this thing explosive. In fact, don't fire this thing too close to yourself, as you will take damage. Although one thing to note is that one close shot will not kill you like the Scorcher or the Plasma Punisher. It will instead just leave you at very low health. Now, this gun doesn't have any fire mode modifications, but it does have some scopes that you can use for even longer range play. And while this thing can and should be used as a little bit of a sniper, it does have a limitation. Literally, your bullets will actually only travel so far before it explodes. So don't expect to be able to snipe a spore tower from anywhere on the map. You will have to get a little bit closer, but you don't have to be that close. On that note though, this thing will one-shot a spore tower, which is awesome. And actually in general on bug missions, this thing is going to have some great utility. Versus the eggs, this will splash damage a ton of them, and you can take them out from a distance. And unlike other primaries that have the explosive trait like the Scorcher, the Eruptor will close bug holes, which is awesome. Especially because you can basically snipe bug holes from a distance without much fear of missing. Unlike most things that you do use to close these things like the grenade launcher, they often require that you get an arced shot just right in order to get it in the hole. But here you can just straight shot it, clean and simple. And what I also love is that since this is a primary, it won't be lost if you die because it definitely sucks when you are relying on something like the grenade launcher for these bug hole missions and then you die and you have to find it again or wait for a new one to become available. No more with the Eruptor. But how does this thing actually fare when you are in combat with the bugs? Well, pretty awesome, at least for the most part. Versus the little guys, it of course takes them out in one shot, but the big benefit you're gonna see is when they are all clumped together because the huge splash damage will take multiples of them out at once. Hunters, well, they are a different story. You can take them out with one shot and the splash damage is good so that you can still take them out even when they're strafing you and a little bit harder to get right on target. But because hunters are trying to get close to you and they're oftentimes pretty successful, they can end up causing you to hurt yourself with those very close explosive shots. But I do have some tips that can help combat that later. Now, the warriors will take one shot. The hive commanders seem to take two, although I have gotten them in one with that medium armor penetration doing an excellent job here. Brood commanders do seem to take an average of two, but I have seen it sometimes take three and also even one. And what you'll find is that a well-placed shot is preferred as it will take the bugs out much faster, but even missing allows you to get some good splash damage and will get them pretty weak and able to take out quickly. Now, so far, the Eruptor has been pretty impressive, but it only gets better because this will one-shot Stalkers. This will one-shot Shriekers. This will also one-shot Bile Spewers from basically 
anywhere. Just wiping the floor with these guys. And versus the Charger, this is amazing. Now again, the amount of shots it will take on the Charger depends on how well you tap that ass. I have been able to get them with one well-placed shot. I sort of almost don't believe it. This could be potentially because they had already gotten weakened from hitting a wall first, but it did happen. Most of the time though, two to three well-placed shots seem to be the norm for the chargers. But what I also love is that this thing does so much splash damage that even if you are missing your shots and really just grazing that butt, you can still take this out with only about four shots. Regardless, this thing packs a punch and is hands down the best primary for the chargers. Now to round this off versus the Bile Titan, it won't kill them by itself, but it will make quick work of those sacks and if you do strip the top armor with something like a rail cannon strike you can finish this thing off in a few more follow-up shots now so far this gun sounds op as fuck but it definitely does have some downsides firstly as mentioned you can damage yourself if you fire this too close which is definitely going to be a risk at nearly all times because most combat against the bugs is close range as they're always trying to swarm you the other thing is this is a bolt action rifle, so you have to load each bullet individually before firing. And this makes this gun have a very slow rate of fire, which can also be tough versus the swarms of enemies. Even though you can use the splash damage to take out a lot of the enemies at once, as you are setting up for your next shot, that can be enough time to allow the others to close in on you. But I do have some fixes that can help counter these issues. First of all, the Eruptor probably shouldn't be thought of as a primary weapon, at least not versus the bugs. It should instead be utilized more as a support weapon, helping you with utility such as bug holes, killing medium-sized enemies fast, and shooting swarms that are at medium to long distances. Your support weapon, therefore, should be acting more as your primary weapon, and so you should select something that's going to be good for the general horde when they are at close range to you. A railgun or a quasar cannon is is not the answer if you have the Eruptor equipped. Instead, something like the Stalwart, the Machine Gun, maybe even the Flame or Arc Throwers are great options. Having the Laser Rover Backpack is also solid, as always, against the Close Swarms. In general, what you should do is use your Eruptor for the bigger enemies and the clumped up swarms that are at a distance, and as they start closing in on you, switch to your support weapon to thin the herd. Now, inevitably, you may lose your support weapon and you may need to find yourself with some other options at close range. And one thing you can do if you are gonna use the Eruptor is to dive backwards and fire to minimize the damage to yourself. Also, of course, having a solid secondary like the Redeemer is also very much recommended. Additionally, there is something that can help you with that slow fire rate, and that is that you can actually animation cancel the bolt loading animation, which will allow you to fire faster. All you have to do is switch from your primary to your secondary and back again, and then you will be ready to go. This will shave a little bit of time off that bolt loading animation. You just wanna make sure to time it. You can't switch back and forth too quickly or else it's not gonna work. Overall though, this gun is amazing and something that you definitely shouldn't be missing out on. But how do you feel about this gun? And what are your tips? For this thing. Let me know in the comments and thank you to my YouTube members for joining the bowel movement. But otherwise, so long, Pooper Troopers.